All right, so part number three of your scripting. Part number three is your disclosure. Basically, this is um, setting the the right expectation. Um, we don't really expect you to deliver this verbatim, but we suggest that you for now follow whatever is written here. So as soon as you gather everything in part number three, uh, part number two, as soon as you have pre-qualified them, uh, the disclosure is now that I've verified all information here. I will have a few lenders call you. So you're going to get few calls from few of our lenders in our network. They may have different options for you. So please listen to each one of them and make your choice based on what's best for your business. Does that sound good to you? They should say yes, because if not, obviously they do not want uh, offers. They don't want to call back. But most of them at, at this point, most of them would just say yes, but at least um, it should be captured in the recording that they agreed to get callback, uh, callbacks coming from our lenders. Now, part number four, appointment setting. Now, uh, this one, you uh, so after you, you do the disclosure, you should be uh, mentioning this. We will now be setting a date of when the lender will give you a callback. So today is blank. Just for an additional integrity on the call, just to make sure that the call really happened today. So let's say today is Jun Ju today today is uh, July twenty one. You mentioned so today is July. No, let let's change the date. July twenty one is a Saturday. No, July twenty third. So let's say the call happened July twenty three. So today is July twenty three. And the earliest that we could give you a call back is on the 25th. We count two days from the call to set up a call back time. Two days from the from the date of when you called, set it up two days after. So 23rd, the earliest that we could give them a call back is on the 25th. All right. So today is July 23. We the earliest that we could give you a call back is on July 25. Will you be available? If they say yes, then set it up. If they, they if they don't if they uh, want a different date, then get the dates of when they could be available, and then ask, what time zone are you in? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, before we proceed uh, with that, ask the date and then ask the specific time of when they would be available. So, would you be available on July 25? If they say yes, great. What time will you be available? If they say any time. You would need like a specific time. We do not accept any time as an answer. You would need to really ask them of when they need the funds. Um, if they say any time and uh, they don't really care, oh, how about uh, about uh, how about around uh, nine to ten? Uh, nine to ten. Would you be available? If they say yes. Then go ahead and set it up that time. Uh, ask what time zone they're in. Are you in Pacific Mountain Central? Uh, Eastern we have to make sure we verify that as well next is there any number where we can reach you at aside from the phone number that you've dialed you may want to attempt asking if they do have a mobile or a company number aside from this one some of them would provide some of them would not but attempt to get an additional phone number all right next thing what is your email address this time, uh, we also need an email address so that we could also send them, uh, like uh, the buyers, or I mean the lenders could send them offers through the email, uh, through their email, I mean. And then, uh, uh, so there. Everyone must mention the day today, as what I mentioned a while ago, in an attempt to obtain an uh, alternate phone number to increase contact rate of our buyers. Okay, now this is the last, actually the, the part where we end the call. First thing we have to verify, uh, we do a recap. First thing we have to verify are their basic information, uh, basic infos. Um, and this must be spelled out phonetically too, like their name, company name. If their name is about, is like John Smith, you obviously you don't have to spell it out. That's very, that's, that's very much understood that the spelling of John is J-O-H-N. But if they do have a name and or a company name, which is kind of complicated, you might want to spell that out just to make sure that we're selling leads that has the correct information right 
and uh, you verify the phone number and alternate phone number. Email address, uh, same thing. If it's kind of complicated, spell it out phonetically. All right. That's the first part of the recap. Second part of recap you should be doing. How much they need, when they need the funds, their deposit, your their average monthly deposit, credit score, and their, uh, and then the callback appointment date and time. All right. Let me, so let me do a quick recap. Again, I'm speaking with John Smith. Uh, and then your company name is John, John Smith Construction. Your phone number is blah, 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 blah. And then your alternate phone number is this and this. Email address is john at gmail.com. And then you are in need of $50,000 for uh, basically business expansion. You'd be buying um, uh, another property and then you'd be uh, having your second uh, location. And you'd need the finance right away. Your deposit is about uh, $40,000 per month. Your credit score is 650. And uh, we will be giving you a call back this coming July 25 at 9 to 10 uh, a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Is that correct? If they say yes, okay, great. Thank you so much for your time. Just expect a call back coming from us this coming July 25. You have a great day. End the call. All right? So that's how we do a recap. Next, part six, go to script. Um, this is, uh, this, the go-to script is what we tell someone if, uh, they're going to ask for the interest rate, the payment terms, payment terms, basically of when they'd be paying like daily, weekly, monthly, or a long-term, uh, loan. And then the specific type of loan. Now this, uh, this information, we obviously do not know. I myself don't even know the interest rate. Um, so we have to put someone in a position where they would be provided with a lot of options, okay? If someone asks, what's the interest rate? You may want to say, that's actually the best part. You will get calls from few of our lenders and they will fight over your business. You'd have the power to choose. And same thing if they're asking, why are you asking too much question like deposit, equity, and credit score? We want to ensure that you get the best loan possible. That's why we ask. That's the only rebuttal that we could tell. We want to again put them in a position where they are in the power to choose from the lenders that will be giving them a call back. All right. So I think that's it. If you have any question, feel free to let me know. We'll probably have a like a 20 to 30 minute uh, question and answer qu a clarification about the script. And from there on, we'll go ahead and uh, dial that phone and get some hot leads going. Thanks so much, guys. You do have a great day.